festival books and it's fantastic. It's a huge crowd and it's a very diverse crowd and I think it's very everyone seems to be having a great time and I love it here. This is the biggest um, this is the biggest book festival in the country. I mean it's huge. And again there's people from all over. There's people from all over the state that come here. And so they're all looking for great books and this is the place to be. It was great. It was great, man. A lot of nice people. Um, fun experience. I got to promote my book a lot. So it's amazing. Hi, this is Jenny. Jenny's Real Talk on the Block, LA Talk Radio Channel 1, Nine Heart Radio. We're down here at the LA Times Festival of Books. Uh, we are broadcasting live from the Black Chateau Enterprises. Black Chateau, booth number 912, down at the LA Times Festival. I love my friend Desiree Duffy of Black Chateau Enterprises. For all your PR and book publishing needs, check out Desiree Duffy. This woman really knows what she's doing. And I'm down here to provide media coverage for her authors and to get a little more exposure for her business and what she does. Because she does a lot for, for authors. So check her out and you will not be disappointed. My first book festival. Uh, first time I've actually been to uh, the LA Times Book Festival and I thought it was quite good. A lot of people, I'm surprised that there are um, so many fans of uh, reading, right? So I guess reading isn't dead. The internet hasn't killed reading. Uh, as far as I, I got a chance to, to talk to a lot of people about the book, um, I think it's the very beginning for me. Uh, and I'm glad I had this opportunity to be around a bunch of people that are passionate about reading. Say hi. Black Chateau. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah, the Festival of Books has been great this year. I've sold quite a few books. I've talked to a lot of people. Um, yeah, it's always a wonderful experience. I'm always glad to come out to this event. Uh, it's such a large event. The entire LA literary community is here. Uh, readers and writers both. It's just, it's the place to be. Engaging people, yeah, trying to talk, uh, attempting to talk to them rather than waiting for them to talk to me. I think it's a big part of that. It, it, it really does help sales. If you're waiting for people to come by, they, they will often just drift by. You better get out there and engage them a little bit. This was largely, this was largely the publicist idea. This was her, uh, uh, her idea. Hi. <laughs> The LA Festival of Books is fabulous. Are you kidding? I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be today than here. It's, um, this is my first time. And I had no idea what to expect. And it's overwhelmingly sensational. And great energy, curious people, exchange of ideas. Are you kidding? I mean, where else can you go to get fed this much creativity in like one day, two days? And so um, it's really fun to talk to people about my story, my journey, and how my books have been in with me. And I went to USC, so it's really nostalgic. And it's sort of like, I sort of miss college. Sort of. <laughs> and, um, you know, I thought the festival this year was better than last year. Um, I think there's a little bit more variety to the booths and so forth. There's more people. Um, and I've, I've been in and out of the different uh, lectures, and they great variety this year. Um, they've and, and this year, different than last year, they've spent a lot more time talking about the way we can connect our stories from book to radio to uh, podcast to whatever. So it's in that way, it's been a much, it's just been a really good festival. I've been selling books like uh, like we all hope to do with this. Um, I brought along my books, Voices and Rights of Life. And um, yeah, they've, they've sold well, and it's just been a really good weekend. The trick, the trick here is to have a really good elevator pitch. You gotta be able to say what your book's about in 30 seconds or less. Um, and then once doing that, go and then immediately come up with a story or some sort of backstory uh, about your book that connects directly to the person, the customer. Um, and then that's how that's how to sell at these booths because there's so many people and it's so busy and no one has much time. But the 30 second elevator pitch is critical. It's all ages. I mean, it's that's what's beautiful about this festival and, and the way they set it up. They have different sections for different age groups. But yeah, uh, all ages. But I've also noticed that that. People in their 20s are starting to read a lot more again, which is a great sign. So I've seen a lot of people, a lot more people in their 20s than maybe last year. The uh, LA Times Book Festival is always a good time. I mean, I think you can still hear the music going on in the background. It really has, a, you know, something for every age, every demographic, everyone in the family. You know, obviously there's the books 
depending upon what your taste is. If you like fiction, non-fiction, fantasy, sci-fi, self-help, business books, dystopian, memoirs, biographies, etc. You've got it here. And you get to meet your favorite authors too. There's book signings, there's food, there's stuff for the family. They have that whole kid zone. And it's fabulous. I love it. I brought in a lot of my writers. They did book signings. They got to meet sign some books, hand out bookmarks, talk to people. You know, there's a lot of industry people here too. So, for example, I had some literary agents stop by my booth. I had editors and you know, just people that are in the know that are doing other events. And you know, maybe somebody is putting together audio books or another festival. So it's a, just a great way to network in general because you have the bookish community, the literary community here. Not to mention you can attend panels and you know really get informed about what's going on within the industry and in society as a whole. So yeah, bringing in everybody so that they can have that experience, giving them exposure. We did a lot as well on social media. We did PR leading up to this event. We had media partners here with us in the booth as well. So a lot of our authors were interviewed by different podcasts and radio shows and you know people just like you talking to them. So they got the media buzz and the exposure plus the experience of being. Lessons learned. There's always lessons